What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you guys a look at what I buy veggie wise once a week. Now some things in here obviously last a little bit longer than a week but for the most part I try to consume everything in this box in one week. Let's check it out. So obviously at the top here you see some tomatoes. Uh, with these tomatoes I make some pasta sauce also chop that up and use that in salads and other stuff love tomatoes next up we've got some alfalfa sprouts uh, now I use these again uh, I throw them in a salad I just throw them on top of some rice eat them uh, in a wrap really tasty really healthy next up here I've got the shiitake mushrooms these go really good in stir-fry you can slice these up uh, toss them in the pan with some oil and add a little salt and pepper and they're good to go. Next up for my heat I always buy a pack of serrano peppers. I cut these really thin and throw them into almost any dish. They work well in soups or in stews or in any kind of pressure cooked dish. Next up another favorite pepper of mine habanero peppers. Habaneros are a little bit different from chilies, but some people like them, some people don't. They're my favorite. Next up, we've got Thai basil. Uh, Thai basil is really tasty. Uh, it's not uh, only used necessarily for Thai dishes. You can go ahead and eat this with anything you want. Uh, and it's a very, very nice herbal uh, flavor to it. Next up, we've got some portobello mushrooms. Now these caps are really tasty. You can make some teriyaki, uh, kind of teriyaki caps out of these. Um, you can slice them up, you can fry them, you can bake them, you can make a burger out of them. Teriyaki uh, style or any other style you want. Portobello mushrooms, my favorite. Next up here I've got some uh, culantro. Now this is similar to cilantro but um, in taste. But it's actually uh, a dish, I mean, I'm sorry, a herb that's from a different uh, region. And it does taste a lot like cilantro. It's used a lot in Asian dishes. Next up here, I've got a whole cabbage. Um, a cabbage really goes a long way. Uh, you really only need to use, uh, you know, a quarter or an eighth of a cabbage at a time. But uh, once it gets pressure cooked down or cooked down, it, it does reduce. And it's really tasty. You can make it in salads and everything. I love cabbage. All right, next up we've got the cauliflower here. Now, cauliflower is delicious and very healthy. You can use cauliflower uh, to make, uh, you can make a kind of a buffalo wings out of them because they kind of look like, and kind of have a consistency of like a chicken bites uh, when you fry them, bread them. Uh, you can use them in salads, you can steam it. Love cauliflower. All right, next up we have some basil. Basil, great for Italian dishes, great for salads, great to just, you know, pick a few leaves and throw in a sandwich, uh, cut up with some tomatoes, olive oil, eat with some mozzarella. Uh, you can make a pizza, you can add mozzarella, basil on it. It's really tasty, really delicious. Love basil. All right, next up we've got the the herbs and I use these a lot into green seasonings um, or just f throw it as a finishing on top of any dish so of course here I've got the cilantro um, cilantro you know you hate it or love it some people like it some people don't like it but it's very healthy for you it's a, it's a very good blood cleaner um, so here's the cilantro I've got some American parsley here and I've got the Italian flat leaf parsley as well so just throw all those guys in the food processor, chop that up, make a nice green seasoning paste, and you can rub your chicken, rub your mushrooms, whatever you want with that. Next up here, I've got the green onions. Again, that also goes in with the herbs. Uh, perfect for Asian dishes, soups, Caribbean dishes. Um, green onions are really tasty. You can cook them down, fry them with an egg. Good. Up here next, we have uh, some just basically bean sprouts. Bean sprouts, you usually see them eaten with like soups and things like that, but uh, bean sprouts, you know, perfect for salads, perfect to just top on top of your rice or whatever you got. 
good to go. And here we have some bok choys. Bok choys, you can steam them, fry them, saute them, bake them. Um, you know, Asian style, you can add uh, some teriyaki sauce, some, um, you know, a little soy sauce, a little oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, garlic, ginger, onions, chop it up, uh, saute it together. Delicious. And finally, we have some pea sprouts. Now, pea sprouts, full of fiber, full of phytonutrients, good source of vitamin A, C, and folic acid. And just great to have a handful or eat, just, just to gulp down a cup of this in addition to all the other greens uh, for the day. And it looks like I have one more thing here, and this is just some lemongrass. So, lemongrass is used a lot in Thai cuisine adds a, an amazing burst of lemony flavor to dishes uh, you usually cut this up really small and, and, and you know add it with some coconut milk galangal some ginger some other herbs spices and you can make some really delicious soups and dishes like tomka um, you know some good pad thais you may have a little uh, hint of lemongrass in there so so overall guys that was the haul uh, my veggie haul everything I get uh, once a week um, again a lot of this herbs and stuff gets it you know it's it's really it's really just green herbs that can just be digested really easily body can absorb the nutrients and a lot of this food can disappear so uh, in one week so guys thanks for checking out the video hope you guys enjoyed the haul stay tuned to more videos where I'm gonna be actually using all of this ingredients and uh, other than that, take care and talk to you guys next time. See ya.